when we're talking about the kinds of exposure that we see here in Delhi in winter or in most of the, the northern Indian plains, we're talking about exposures in the order of 100 micrograms to like 350 micrograms of particulate matter, uh, PM2.5, which is the most harmful form of uh, particulate matter. Um, and that's obviously quite bad. But what we've seen from the health evidence is that the, the negative health effects start well below around 25, 30 micrograms and, and go up quite substantially and quite rapidly uh, between 25 and 100 micrograms. And that spans most of the country. Um, you may be living in a Bangalore, but your annual average PM2.5 exposure could be something around 35 to 50 micrograms, and you still have uh, deaths occurring from that. You still have illnesses occurring from that. Same with the Pune, same with the Chennai, even Mumbai, which has all of the, the coastal benefits associated with dispersing air pollution, still has a significant number of deaths. So we published a study um, a little while ago, for instance, which looked at mortality from air pollution across 10 cities. And what we saw was that, well, on an annual level, uh, Delhi kind of led the, the rankings. Mumbai was probably 50% of what Delhi had in terms of the number of deaths every year. Ba Bangalore had maybe 30% of the deaths Delhi had. Let me break that down because I think that's really important. What you're saying is that health effects start low down in the PM 2.5 concentration level. Delhi is at the moment at whatever it is, 150, 200, possibly higher late in the evenings and the, in the mornings. You're saying other places start feeling the terrible health effects at about 25, 30 micrograms. And from there on, it becomes progressively worse. And this is something that leads to premature deaths, to asthmatic issues, and all sorts of other Absolutely. problems. That's why all of India needs Absolutely. to be addressed, that's, not that's just... That's entirely the, the right point that you've, you've touched upon there. I think what we've seen from national as well as global evidence is that uh, even low to moderate exposures to, to air pollution, especially PM2.5, can lead to cardiovascular diseases, uh, hypertension, stroke, heart attacks, uh, long-term respiratory conditions, short-term respiratory conditions like asthma attacks, um, cancers of various forms, as well as uh, in pregnant women, prematurity of birth and low birth weight in babies, and various other cognitive and development problems.